Finally tonight, they're looking for love. You know what that's like. But they only have 72 hours to find it. Adriana Diaz now on Mayflies and the ultimate in speed dating. It's summer on the Mississippi and the Mayflies are back. Shoo, my fly, shoo, shoo. Once a year, Look. these inch long insects emerge from rivers and lakes en masse. They're like a tornado. A tornado of flies? Yeah. And like a tornado, the swarms are so large they can be tracked on radar. Though they don't bite or sting, mayflies can still elicit terror. Some river towns even turn off their street lamps to keep the light loving bugs at bay. That's because mayflies drop dead after an exhausting 24-hour mating frenzy, leaving piles that can make driving treacherous. As overwhelming as these mayflies can be, they actually bring some welcome news in a messy package. It's kind of a celebration for biologists. Kent Johnson supervises environmental quality for the greater Minneapolis-St. Paul area. He says the flies spend most of their lives at the river bottom and need clean water to survive. They're indicators of excellent water quality. We can only spot check it once in a while and make some assumptions. So these mayflies are like a cheat sheet. They are a cheat sheet. With his shop vac, Professor Jerry Castor is collecting mayflies to reintroduce them to Green Bay, Wisconsin, where they've disappeared because of polluted waters. He says the tourism and sports fishing businesses would flourish. Possibly $250 million a year could be added to the economy because of these mayflies. The professor believes Green Bay's water is now clean enough and hopes a mayfly hatch there next summer will prove it. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Lake City, Minnesota.